Zagreb. The region with this capital and largest city of Croatia has a rich history dating from Roman times. With more than 1 million inhabitants, Zagreb metropolitan area is known for its diverse economy, high quality of living, museums, and sporting and entertainment events. The capital was once two towns, Gradic and a smaller Keptol. By visiting the larger Gradic, you will immerse yourself in the medieval history of Zagreb. The funicular public transport even leads to the raised hill, one of the world's shortest, with a track length of 66 meters. From 6.30 a.m. to 10 p.m., the rides are every 10 minutes and take only 64 seconds. Nearby, you can admire 13th century St. Mark's Church, one of the oldest architectural monuments in the city. On the roof, tiles are laid to represent the coat of arms of Zagreb. The church was radically reconstructed in the second half of the 14th century. Combine visiting St. Mark's Church with a historical performance in the square. A traditional change of the Guard of Honor by the Cravat Regiment is organized from April to October, a couple of times a month. The second original medieval town, the Eastern Keptol, was inhabited mainly by clergy and today houses a majestic neo-Gothic cathedral dedicated to the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary and Kings St. Stephen and St. Ladislas. With a height of 108 meters, this is the second tallest building in Croatia and the most monumental sacral building in Gothic style southeast of the Alps. The cathedral holds a spectacular treasury with one of the country's wealthiest exhibit collections. Some of them are older than 900 years. A five-minute walk from the cathedral is Ban Jelicic Square, the city's central square. The square's history begins in 1641 and later made part of the downtown pedestrian zone. There are many medieval streets in the surroundings, an ideal place to buy souvenirs or Lisitar hearts, a traditional symbol of the country. Are you looking for the best view in the area? Visit the mid-13th century fortress Medvedgrad, only 10 kilometers from the center. Enjoy the unique panoramic view of the city from an elevation of over 500 meters. The defensive complex was built after Mongols invaded Zagreb in 1242 when the medieval city was destroyed and burned. If you enjoy walking through beautiful city parks, visit English-style Maximer Park. Opened in 1794, it was the first large public park in southeastern Europe. It forms part of the city's cultural heritage and is a habitat for many plant and animal species. The park also houses the city zoo with more than 275 animal species. For art lovers, Zagreb definitely has a lot to offer. Start with a visit to the Art Pavilion, established in 1898. It is the oldest gallery in Southeast Europe and the only purpose-built gallery in the city. The gallery has a total display area of 600 meters squared and has organized more than 700 exhibitions throughout its history. The Museum of Arts and Crafts is just a 12-minute walk from the Art Pavilion. The Grand Historicist Palace from the 19th century is one of the first purpose-built edifices devised to merge the museum and school functions. On more than 2,000 meters square of museum space, you can find about 160,000 unique objects from the 4th to 20th centuries. Right next to the complex is another interesting, if somewhat controversial, art museum, the Mimara Museum. Mr. Mimara, the original art collector, built his 3,700 artifacts collection by forging, looting, and swindling. According to some estimates, it is the greatest collection of fakes in the world. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more in the future, leave a comment, give a like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.